How do electrons arrange themselves around a nucleus? Originally it was thought that they might be in the nucleus itself. This was the plum pudding model. Then there were the ideas that they might circle around the nucleus much like planets circle around the sun. Then there was the idea that they just simply reside in shells going further and further away from the nucleus. Our most recent uh, understandings are more complex than that and this is some of the uh, images that show where electrons are around electrons around the nucleus and this is known as the Aufbau pattern this is the topic of screencast 5.1 okay indulge me for a minute and just try to follow this weird pattern it's a mathematical pattern and here's how it goes on this grid here in every white box right one two three four five Hang on. There it is. Five. And then two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Fill it in. Three, four, five, six, seven. You see how to do it. These will become the known as, be known as the principal quantum number, and most more or less associated with shells. Okay, after the number, please write a letter. Go in this order. S P D F, G. If it were to go beyond G, you'd start following the alphabet at that point, H, I, J, etc. So here we go. S, P, D, F, G, S, P, D, F, and continue. I think there's going to be one missing right there. Put a little 9 after the, put a little S after the 9. A couple minutes, Rosie. Okay? All right. Now, after the letters, let's put a little superscripted number. 2, 6, 10, 14, 18. And can you see how it's increasing by uh, 4 each time, starting with 2? Those would be how many electrons are in each subshell. Those little letters are going to be the shape of that subshell. I hope that makes some sort of weird sense, sense to you. But if nothing else, I hope you see the mathematical pattern that's developing. And if you do... And if you do, try to do the next row. There it is right there. Can you see this would be 6, H, 22? What goes for the next one? Nothing, because it's going to be a yellow spot, right? And then 7, G, 18. Fill it out and see if it matches uh, the answers I come up with. Pause it if you need to. Okay, you should have come up with 8, F, 14. This should be down a little bit in the little white space right there. This one would be 9, D, 10. This one would be 10, P, 6. And notice you can go out one further. Did you realize that? Make sure you put one out further. This should be, yeah, right there. Wouldn't it be 11, P, 6? Right there. Okay, now let's go ahead and read this thing like a book, meaning left to right and then go down. 1s2, fill the entire thing in. It'll take a little while, but this is known as the Aufbau order, the building up order of electrons. And we're just reading it all like a book. Can you see that? Here. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Go to the next line. 3p6, 4s2. This is where electrons are around a nucleus. The really cool thing about it is that this is an extrapolating tool. This is something that goes on forever. This allows us to predict the electron positions for elements that have yet to be discovered. In fact, this already goes way beyond any elements that have been discovered yet. It follows some sort of pattern. Why that pattern? Well, let's take a look at it in the next slide. This is Screencast 5.1.